All right, welcome everybody. It's Doug here with the LincolnList.com. This is the Stock Market Weekly Review for the 4th of April. The first quarter is now behind us. It was a great quarter. Over $78,000 in gains in our live day trade room. And this is on, I would say, small to medium-sized positions, just a couple of hundred shares. And if you can go back and you, you just look at this market, what it did at the beginning of the year, selling off with a vengeance, People were talking about, you know, this is it, market correction. We're going to see mayhem stabilizes itself in February. Then you have almost the opposite reaction there later in February, right here on the 8th, just kind of gearing back up and putting in this massive rally. So you've had all three of these factors. You've had a down market, a sideways market, and an up market all within the first quarter of 2016, regardless of what it has thrown our way, as I said, over 78K in gains. Now, you're always welcome to come and join our live trade room. All these trades are live on screen. Everything is live on screen. It's, it's in real time. So you're, you're more than welcome to do that. On the other hand, I'm also going to be doing a webinar. I'm going to talk about my favorite strategies that have worked in this market. It doesn't matter how the market is. If you've got a process and it's set up based, it will work in any market. So I'm going to be going over all this in the webinar. We're going to be talking about other things. It's, it's going to be free. Just I put the link right here next to this video. Make sure you register. It's going to be Thursday at 7 p.m. So now let's talk about where we're going to go this month here or what we might be able to see. This, this spy just continues to go on anything. You know, it doesn't matter what the Fed says. You know, they've, they've obviously made their intentions clear. But the market just keeps going. Now, you're back here flagging again for what seems to be the hundredth time. I think there needs to be a period of digestion, whether that is a couple of days sell-off. It doesn't make a difference, but I think that would be healthy for the overall market. It feels, though, that we're not going to get that. We're going to continue to do what we've been doing, which is just any dip gets bought up. So we're going to look at a couple of levels. You've got this next point 208, let's just say 208, 208, here. And that's taking you back to December, the last piece of December. And then maybe you're going to start walking back up to the 210s. And I think if you get back up there, you're going to start hearing people talking about new highs, new highs. Hey, we might see it. As I said, this has been a very impressive rally. And I'm going to be one of the ones that admit that when we bounced off this 181s down here, you had a nice double bottom. It was kind of a predictable bounce. So two to three days, that's what I would expect. I thought we would just kind of float around here in the 190s, maybe the 200s. But this thing has been beyond impressive. So let's kind of look at those numbers for the SPY, see where it takes us. And, and, and I guess the thing would be is if you see the dips continue to get bought up as we progress through the beginning of the week, it's going to be business as usual. Until you start seeing the dips not being bought up or the rallies getting sold off, then maybe you could see a retracement down into the 20 moving average here of 202, maybe a reconnection with 200, but we'll just see how it plays out day to day. Now let's kind of shift our momentum and let's take a look at a, a few stock setups here. A nice little setup here is ACAB, and this one's to the long side. You know, I kind of like the way this daily chart's lining up here. Let's, let's, let's open this up just a little bigger. I think a really, really nice flag. Now, I kind of was thinking after such a strong sell-off, you know, it's this, this really good news on Wednesday, and the stock sells off, and, and, and a lot of times when that happens, it just doesn't do anything. But then it comes right back Thursday. Again, a lot of stocks are starting to do this, and now you've got a, a, a really, you can see it, look at this, nice little flag set up. Just kind of cross that level there a little bit. Got a post-market gap here. We'll see how that works out as you, as you move into Monday. But I would think, let's say 29.20, 29.30. If this thing holds this level, you know, it's right on this VWAP here. We'll see what the opening looks like on Monday. But if it holds this level or doesn't really get underneath of this 28.18, which is a midday pivot, and this thing starts gearing up over that, I think you're going to make you're going to see a move possibly that goes into the 32s. This is a, but for me it would be a day trade, uh, you know, and I think you're going to be able to get the kind of move or the cash that you need out of this thing. So AK had a really nice daily chart set up, a strong looking flag. You had a sell off period there. It came right back. Now it's it's messing around here at the at the short term highs. Look for a move into 30 to 32 again. It all depends on the setup as to where you enter. 
In my opinion, you shouldn't just, if it just gaps up over 29.30 or 29.70 or even in the 30s, that's not really the trade you want right there. You're going to have to let that thing digest. Maybe it works out for you, but that's not really the best course of action if you're looking for some good cash. So ACAD, let's look for an up move towards 30 to 32. Now, W Day here is one I want to kind of maybe start looking at as a short. You can see what happens. I was I was a long fan of this, and I actually longed it in our swing program here. 74-77 break. I like the. It was a longer extended flag than something you're seeing with ACAD. Like ACAD, you have a couple of days here. You had a long period of consolidation in the 71s, and then it finally breaks up to the 74, and it, and and it goes. That's a pretty classic setup. Now, what happens a lot of these times is when they go, then people start chasing late. You know, if you're going to be in on a trade like this, and this is a very important aspect of trading, one of the biggest elements, you got to be in at the right price, at the right time, at the right price. And you got the breakout here. That's where this trade was. Three days later, you stretched a little bit. Now you're coming close to, you know, resistance. So it, it's not all, if you're not already in it, it's not a long here for you. That doesn't mean it won't work, but this is not the kind of habit you want to build as a trader. So I'm looking here that if it continues to stretch a little and moves into some of the resistances, you know, I'd say the closing price, you work like towards 80. If you gap and run or you get a strong morning or a big market run, I would have to say after four straight days of running, that would start out the fifth day with, the, with a big move. It's a short. Now, that's only under that circumstance if it gaps or it runs and goes parabolic and stretches itself in the morning. If it doesn't do that, I'm not interested in this trade. That's not what I'm looking for. That Because if it just bases and then gears up later, 30 or 40 minutes, and then starts to go, then it, it probably will be able to sustain that. So you're looking for the unsustainable move, the blow-off top, and that's the only way it's going to happen in, in, in this scenario or the sequence that you're looking at this chart. You're going to need that move. If that doesn't happen, it's not a short. But WD, I want to keep it up on the list. And then I want to go back to Lulu. I talked a little bit about this one on social media here Friday. I, I like this one long, too. This is like an ACAD a kind of setup, but this was fresh off of earnings. And this is something that you're seeing a lot based on some of the recent price action and, and the way some of these stocks have behaved. After earnings, if they're holding up that original gap, so you're looking at, you get this thing with earnings, it already breaks, I mean, just gaps and holds. Barely any fade on day one. Day two, you know, it, it closes red, but just slightly. And it, that's just a short-term period of consolidation. And here on Friday, you know, it, it begins the day that way and then just slowly, slowly grinds up throughout the rest of the session. And with that, you have now closed above that flag support, that flag high, which is 68, 69. So it's a lot like what you saw with ACAT. I mean, I mean, these charts are identical. So providing if the market can, continues to behave the way it is, and when I mean that, I'm talking about buying the dips, you know, no flushes, no, no panic, no continual sell-off or lower highs one after the other you're going to see these kind of grind back up i think and possibly you see this one in 70 72 we'll see how this one plays out you know for me it might be a question as to whether or not i really don't like to sit in the grind that's not my thing it's not a bad strategy it's just not something i'm into but i do like this one here for a little bit more continuation to the upside you got some air I think into the 70s, maybe 71s here, if it wants it. So you got a couple of stocks here that look look pretty decent as we go in. Some of the biotech that we're looking at here, having some pretty impressive moves. You got Kite, uh, Juno working up off the bottom here. Some of these might continue. You know, they they had their moment a few weeks ago at the very beginning portions of the month of March, and a lot of these sold off. So there could be some short-term rallying in some of these names. We'll just have to see how they play out. As I mentioned. It's been a great quarter. It really doesn't make a, a difference. You know, this is one of the things that will help you make that transition from amateur or hobbyist to professional. When you're asking, what's the, what, are, what are some of the keys? And one of these is you just let the market do what it wants. You kind of have a plan. You think of a couple of different scenarios. And the, and the market's going to it's going to do what it wants. And there's no amount of money that you have right now that's going to influence the stock the stock prices or the way the market behaves. You're just a player in this game. That's all you are. 
and when you get these biases and you really start hoping that one scenario plays out over another, that's when you got problems. You can't do that. You just got to let it happen. And if the setup is there, it's there. If not, you have to wait and wait it out and not force it. It's not that kind of a game. So again, a great quarter. doesn't matter what the market's doing. There's always going to be opportunity. There's always going to be money. There's a 14-day free trial to our live trade room. Don't believe a word I say. Just, you know, consider it all bull. You know, just get it, just see it live. Visit the room, take a 14-day trial, see it live, make up your own mind. I'll show you the trades live on the screen. I'll, sh I'll share, share the strategies with you. You make the decision. Also, don't forget about the webinar on Thursday. Make sure you register for that. As always, have yourself a great week of trading. Hope you started out at least the first day of April well. If you need help, you know how to reach out to me. Other than that, take care of yourself, enjoy your week, and I'll talk to you soon.